you all really liked it when I shot that slam ball with the elephant gun and you wanted to see the 50 cal versus the slam ball. Well, I got us a bigger one this time. I'm gonna set it down real quick. Dang it! What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna have some fun with another slam ball. I shot a 90 pound slam ball with the elephant rifles. It stopped everything we threw at it and you all requested 50 BMG neck. So I ordered another slam ball, it's a lot heavier and we're gonna see if it can stop some 50 BMG rounds. Let's go get everything set up and get started. All right, so I had us a table set up. The slam ball was too much for it. I'm gonna set it down a little gentler this time. Thankfully, I have another table. Really need a table sponsor. This is actually the same table we used last time. The last slam ball was 90 pounds. This slam ball weighs 100 and 50 pounds. Now 150 pounds may not sound like much, especially to you all who lift weights, but when it's in ball form, it's kind of hard to pick up. I need Robert to burst here. He can just pick this thing up and throw it on the table. I'm gonna roll it onto my hand because I just need to get under it. Ah! Ah! All right, well today we've got the Serbu BFG 50A with American flag Cerakote, such an awesome gun. We're gonna be shooting from this table here. But before we get started, let me tell you about today's sponsor, USCCA. The U.S. Concealed Carry Association was founded to help responsible armored Americans like you prepare for the before, during, and after of a self-defense incident. Members get life-saving self-defense education, industry-leading training, and self-defense liability insurance. And best of all, this is 100% risk-free with a bulletproof money-back guarantee. Don't wait until it's too late. Click the link in the description down below and go check it out. And again, a big thank you to the USCCA for sponsoring today's video now let's blast this slam ball normally we'd start out with a full metal jacket and work our way up but you know what i feel like going backwards today we're gonna go big or go home and start out with a ralphus round this is a green tip 50 bmg this is a hundred dollar round place your bets in the description down below do you think it's gonna go through the 150 pound slam ball It stopped it. It ate that thing. Nothing. Hit right there. Yeah, look at that. Those are like little pieces of metal. That's not sand. That is straight up little metal beads. That's how they make it heavier because that's not that much bigger than the 90 pound slam ball. I wonder what the heck it's gonna take to make it through this thing. The Ralphus round isn't exactly known for making it through further than other rounds. We've had it outperformed by other rounds before. So uh, let's hit it with a few more things. Okay, so now that we know that this thing is full of like metal beads, I'm really excited to try out this round. This is a blue tip 50 BMG. It's a pure incendiary round. a big flash. I aim for about the same area. Looks like, woo, looks like we hit about right there. Do we have a new hole? Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing. Up next, let's use a silver tip 50 BMG. This is a armor piercing incendiary. It's starting to look like I need some slam ball body armor. <laughs> All right. table <laughs> okay so i aim trying to aim just in different little areas here so we hit somewhere here in the same spot and again 
there is nothing except this table just collapsing under the weight of this ball. I feel like we need to move it. Over here. Up next, let's hit this thing with a black tip. This is an armor piercing 50 BMG. This might be the one. It might do it. I think I hit that same hole. Question is, did it go through? No, no, it didn't. No. <laughs> well, when all else fails, you break out the silver red tip, the armor piercing incendiary tracer. This one typically makes it through when the other rounds don't. Let's see if it can do it this time. Three, two, one. That was a pretty cool flash. I'm a little lower that time hitting this area. Let's see if it went through. I'm extremely doubtful at this point. Yeah, nope, nothing. All right, well, I got one more thing for this slam ball. Okay, one last attempt. I'm gonna dump 10 rounds of full metal jacket tracers into this thing. Let's see if we can make it through. So us being this close, I don't know if the tracers are gonna have enough time to react, but maybe we'll get one to uh, show up on camera. You just got jammed. There's a tracer on the ground over there. And the ball fell up. Had one round to go. Literally, a 50 BMG round just came back out of the ball, landed on the ground, and the tracer was just sitting there going off on the ground. That is insane. I bet that sucker is super hot. Not going to touch it. Look at that. That's insane. That, I, that slam ball stopped it in its tracks and just said, and just spit it on the ground. We do not. Look at this. Those look like holes. Okay. All right, let's cut it open. Definitely don't want to breathe this stuff in. Oh. Oh, there's a round right there. Look at that. That's a tracer. Let's see how many we can find. It's like an Easter egg hunt, which I found one right here. Ooh, that's not very deformed. Three, we're looking for 14 of these things. Put all the jacket over here. There's another one, four. There's another one, five, six, seven. Ooh, dang. That one got really messed up. Eight. Oh, look at that. Nine. 
That is probably the armor piercing. There's no spot on the back for tracer. And the tip of that is still really pointy. So what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. That. That may be from the Ralphus. There's another piece. I think these are pieces of uh, the Ralphus round. I feel like they're in here. Should have already found them by now. So we ended with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven out of 14. So we're missing three. There's a mark. Okay, nothing in there, but that hole right there, that's, that's a pretty deep hole. Like, and that's definitely new. A little hard ready knife is good for digging. Look at all those. That's awesome. I don't think anyone has ever caught that many 50 BMG rounds at once. <laughs> I, I don't think so. And here's what I'm curious about. How many holes are at the bottom of this table? We're missing three rounds. Like there weren't any holes in the bottom of this table before we did the 10 round mag dump. And I've got a hole here and I've got a hole here. So here's what I'm thinking. When I was shooting it with 10 rounds, the ball kept moving and I was consistently starting to shoot lower. And at some point, I think those rounds were taking the path of least resistance, weren't actually making it all the way into the ball and probably shooting downward, going through the table and into the dirt. And now that I look right here, there's three holes here. There may be a round inside this table here. This one's at the bottom and this one's at the bottom, but that one's not. This little knife is pretty tough. Regardless, we know where every round went. I've got 11 that I've recovered. We needed three more rounds and we had three holes in the top of this table. Do you really think you were safe? Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I think that somebody needs to start investing in slam ball body armor. It would definitely protect you and you would have some awesome calves from carrying that around all day. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.